Hello everyone, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. Um, I wanted to run through a new Twitter application that I'm actually currently beta testing with the, um, the full release slated for the next week or two, um, both in a free version and a $4.99 premium version. And I believe this beta test is, uh, is of the premium version, actually. Uh, my buddy Phil over at Android Central put together a very nice review that has a lot of screenshots and since screenshots are very difficult to capture especially if you have a Mac I think it's impossible on an Android device I'm going to uh, refer you over to Android Central's review to see a bunch of the screenshots of uh, Tweetcaster from Handmark and I'm going to run through it here on the video so you get a kind of visual representation of what you can expect in the next week or two from Handmark now, Handmark's been making applications or and reselling applications from developers for years, and um, I personally have been using uh, Seismic and Twitroid on my Android devices, and here you see I have the Nexus One in hand. However, just after two days, two or three days of beta testing Tweetcaster, I already removed those other ones and put them in a folder and used Tweetcaster as my default uh, Twitter application. Now, a bunch of readers may say, um, well, what's the value in Twitter? But, you know, I personally get a lot of value both professionally and uh, just a way to stay in touch with my friends and, and family on Twitter. So to me, it's an, a value, very valuable service. Uh, also for news, right? News and, and a bunch of other things. So let's take a work, look through it. You can see Tweetcaster down here is the... Uh, Sorry, with this background, you probably can't see it that well. It's the icon with the little bird, right? So let's start Tweetcaster. And there's a bigger picture of the bird. Cute little birdie right there. Tweetcaster by Handmark. Okay, so there's a lot visually going on with Tweetcaster, and it's visually very appealing to me. So on this main screen, this is kind of just the main view when you first launch it. This is my uh, Twitter feed here. And as you can see, you generally have four, maybe five uh, tweets that show up at one time. And that was one comment I actually left in the, in the beta test was maybe have a toggle for a more basic version that hides these upper two menus and gives people more tweets with maybe some less graphical interfaces, less space between them. Um, if you want the more graphical user interface, that's good, but maybe have an option for, uh, for giving people a more basic approach just to get a lot of tweets in it uh, in one view. So let me just run across a few of the UI elements here. Uh, so there's my Twitter feed. You can see up top there uh, I have 49 new tweets since I last checked, uh, six um, mentions, five direct messages, and then there's some favorites and a couple other things I'll show you. So there's my Twitter feed. If I was to scroll down, up or down, one thing I like is if you press the menu button you can jump to jump to the top so we press that jumps right up to the top of my feed list right which is nice and then otherwise we can just uh, scroll up and down we go all the way down to the bottom and one thing I like is it shows me there's 120 tweets and if I go to the bottom it will uh, can you continue to well, it should continue to load up um, more tweets um, dynamically I believe so if I press the uh, settings I don't think there's a number yeah, see, there's no number of settings that you, or tweets that you set. It usually just goes down, and then uh, it scrolls down for more as well. That's, that's what it did in the past. So mentions, of course, looks uh, similar to that. You can see there's hyperlinks, a um, bunch of other things. Actually, let me jump back in here. If I was to press on somebody's, we get tweet options, right? So we got profile, direct message, block, report, say, bam. Let's say I go to one that has a, uh, a URL in it. Well, I should have picked up the URL. Let's go down to one that has a URL, see if it will pick it up. And if I just tap on it, oh, there we go, I tap and hold. If I just tap on it, it gives me a reply, go to the URL, favorite that one, retweet it, look at the profile of uh, somebody that's in there, Slacker Radio, which is another person that's in there, tap on this one, see it gives you a bunch of options. The tap and hold actually give you different options. Direct message, block, report for spam, profile. Okay, if we go into the uh, mentions, we do the same thing, we tap on it, gives me a few more. There's thread, which I really like, I tap on thread, it's going to load up the whole threaded conversation of, uh, of this Twitter conversation. 
and there we go so you can see the whole thread and then we can bounce back okay and say I wanted to reply to that person I could go reply fill it out I could tap the eyeball and it would show me the Twitter feed so I can kind of uh, get a kind of a view of what's going on as I reply to somebody you know sometimes you want to kind of give some more context to what's going on we can do that and uh, if I tap down here I can just post a new tweet I can do a reply I can do a direct message just by tapping these bottom things bottom icons if I tap the right icon you can see I can add a picture I can geotag I can shrink the URL if I tap usernames it will load up who I'm following and who my followers are I could tap that person and quickly enter in their um, Twitter ID, which is nice. Because a lot of times you want to include other people in a conversation, and it's nice and easy to find there. And there's direct messages. There's some favorites. We go farther over. We see these are the lists that I follow. And as you can see, I have six lists, and it shows me those particular lists. Okay. Go back to the main Twitter feed. If I tap on the icon for the pencil of course it lets me post a new tweet again with the options of add a picture usernames geotag and shrink urls and go back um, on the main page again i'm going to go ahead and tap the menu we see there's jump to top refresh people if i tap on people again we go to where followers and following tap on tweet filter and i can set up a filter to filter through tweets which is a nice feature i haven't seen around and if i tap on more I can go quick follow, refresh all, settings. So let's bounce into settings. So settings, there's a couple themes. There's a light theme and a dark theme. I find a light theme to be much better. There's a URL shortening, either bit.ly or is good. We have image services, TwitPick and YFrog, auto refresh interval that you can set, default URL options, open copy, ask, font size, I have it on normal. You can go large or larger, and background notifications. So that's the basic settings you have there. Now, one good thing about uh, Tweetcaster is we tap this up by where it says at Palm Solo, which is my main Twitter feed. I tap on that. We can see I have my other accounts there as well. Nokia Experts, I can add more accounts. Multiple accounts is a good thing. Uh, trends is a nice feature to have. We tap on Trends. There we go. We can see a bunch of the trends that are going on and then jump in and, and see what those tweets are about. We can do uh, conduct some searches here. Do a new search and conduct searches of tweets. And one thing that I found in an iPhone application before, I haven't seen on Android, is nearby. So if I tap nearby, I can either enter a zip code or current location. If I tap current location, let's see what it pulls up. It should pull up tweets uh, that are geographically around where I'm at, which is kind of nice. I remember that on, uh, I believe it was a Twitter phone, Twitter phone on the, um, on the iPhone. It was a way for me to meet up with uh, new people that I wanted to add that happened to be in my geographical location, which was kind of a nice feature that I haven't seen on a on a device since then. So, oh yeah, let me just show you. It actually works also in uh, landscape view, and as you can see, then I'm down to a couple, right? So I got two, maybe three, well, two tweets really that show up there. I, so I would like uh, one thing I get feedback was to have these auto hide right. So as you just if you're just scrolling the list, maybe they could bounce that up and give you uh, four or five tweets in, in landscape and and uh, I don't know six or seven in portrait mode. But overall, I'm finding it to be uh, quite fast, um, very handy. As you can see graphically, it looks great. Um, and for me personally, I found it to be oh there's the load more. So if I tap on that, load up more. Um, for me personally, I found it to be a very, very nice Twitter application. Um, gives me all the features I want um, in an application while giving me a nice visual representation. And um, it's been solid performer. I haven't had any resets or anything else, even though it's in beta testing. So this is Tweetcaster from Handmark for the Google Android. Should be out uh, in a week or two. Um, free version with ads or a no ad version, I believe. Uh, Phil had said it was going to be $4.99. Thanks for watching, everybody.